Shabbat Shalom. Once again, so good to be here with you all <clears throat> as we make our way each Shabbat from Passover, from Pesach to Shavuot. As we count the Omer, we count 49 days from these two holidays, from the Exodus from Egypt until the receiving of the Torah in just a short while, in a couple of weeks. And each year we come up against a special moment, a calendar day within that counting, one that has just passed, one that as, the, as Shabbat uh, came in, so this holiday left us. Lug Ba'omer, the 33rd day. Lug Lamed Gimel counting 30 plus 3, each Hebrew letter accounting for a number. And so it is named after its day, Lagba Omer, a Jewish religious holiday celebrated on the 18th day of the month of Iyar, according to the counting of the Omer. According to our Kabbalistic tradition, this is a day that Shimon Bar Yochai, the great rabbi, near the turn of the first century, the Rashbi, a Mishnaic sage and a disciple of the one and only Rabbi Akiva. He <clears throat> is said to have written down the Zohar and given the deep secrets of Jewish mysticism before it was over a thousand years before it was truly revealed. And it is on this day that we're told that he passed away. It's also on this day of the 33rd day of the Omer that, <laughs> that Rabbi Akiva, uh, the, him and his disciples that had been plagued by a pandemic of their own, that 24,000 of his students had been killed by this plague. It was on the 33rd day of the Omer that the plague came to an end. And so this day became a celebration, a celebration of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai's life and a time to visit his tomb and to celebrate his life and Jewish, our Jewish mystical tradition that our uh, particularly uh, highlighted by our Haredi, our ultra-Orthodox brothers and sisters, and a time to light bonfires and to remember uh, the passage of the pandemic that struck Rabbi Akiva and his disciples. And so it is with that uh, background that we come to see the tragedy that happened, uh, that happened last night on Lagba Omer, as the news came in from modern day Israel, amidst the bonfires and the prayers of our Haredi ultra Orthodox brothers and sisters visiting Shimon Bar Yochai's tomb. And due to uh, a severe overcrowding and members slipping on some steps, leading to a crush of human beings who could not breathe and at least 45 people, our people, who were killed and over 150 injured. Lagba Omer, a day in the midst of a period of mourning, a day of celebration, uh, turned into a day of mourning. Psalm 30 says these words, Adonai he'elita min she'ol nafshi chi tani mi yordei vor. You brought me up from she'ol, preserved me from going down into the pit. Ba'erev yalin bechi v'laboker ina. One may lay, lie down weeping at nightfall, but at dawn there are shouts of joy. Hafachta mispadi la macholi, pitachta sakiva, tezreni simcha. 
You turned my lament into dancing. You undid my sackcloth and girded me with joy. In this psalm, we go from a place of mourning to a place of celebration, just as we had in the coming of the 33rd day of Lagba Omer. And yet, the psalm says, Histarta fanecha haiti nivhal. When you hid your face, I was terrified. And so it is God's presence, as our Jewish tradition says in times of tragedy, God's presence is hidden. And tragedy, when tragedy befalls us or others, it is God's presence that has been taken away and we do not know where God is. Last night for our people was turned on its head from celebration to mourning, not the other way around as the Psalm would have us seeing. Take a moment to just think about our relationship to our Haredi brothers and sisters, ultra-Orthodox Jews from, from New York to Israel and beyond. Perhaps we don't take enough time to think about our connections. Perhaps we don't take enough time to think about Am Yisrael, the people Israel, and how we are connected. And yet, when the news strikes, we feel that inner pang and that connection to those who may seem so different from us. Perhaps we feel that our liberal friends, religious or secular, our neighbors to the left and to the right of us in Vermont, perhaps we have more in common with them than we do with our Haredi, our Haredi uh, family. And yet it is Am Yisrael, it is the people Israel. We are known as B'nai Yisrael, the children of Israel, all cut from the same cloth, all from the same spiritual family. We mourn with them because we are them. In fact, some JCOGS members who I heard from today, their children were at this very, this very tragedy that happened, and thank God they came out safely. We mourn with them because we are them. We mourn with them because we were slaves in Mitzrayim with them. We went through the Shoah together. We read from the same Torah. We have direct relatives, some of us who are Haredi ourselves. And so we count these days of the Omer, <clears throat> hoping as the Psalmist says, to turn our morning into celebration. And so may it be again, just as when we entered Lagba Omer, so may it be again. And so in so many ways in our lives, in this tragedy, across our pandemic, and even in our own personal lives, whatever mourning and grief we are within, to come out of that into the place of celebration so that we might say, we may go to sleep weeping at nightfall, yet in the dawn there are shouts of joy. So we will now count the Omer and lay to rest this, this 33rd day. And you'll say, you can say the blessing with me, and then we'll do the counting. Yesterday was the 33rd day, Lag Ba'omer. The blessing, Al Sfirat Ha'omer. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Asher Kidashanu, Bemitzvotav, Vitzivanu, Al Sfirat Ha'omer. And you can repeat after me, Hayom Arba'im Ushloshim Yom. Hayom Arba'im Ushloshim Yom. 
שהם ארבעה שבועות, שהם ארבעה שבועות ושישה ימים לעומר. ושישה ימים לעומר. Today is 43 days, which is four weeks and six days of the counting of the Omer.